In this video, um, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to find um, the best keywords for your ca campaigns. Now, if you're building um, a website or you're trying to sell affiliate marketing products or ClickBank products, or even building um, a website where you're trying to make money from advertising using something like Google AdSense, uh, you need to know uh, which words to build the website around. So, in other words, what you know, what keyword or which word you want people to type into Google and find your website on. This is very, very important. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can find these golden uh, keywords, if you like, um, because obviously if you build your website around uh, a, a word, if you like, or a keyword, and you get that web your your website to rank number one in Google for the keyword which you have chosen, um, if no one's searching for that keyword, you're not going to make any money. Um, but if you choose a keyword that has a huge amount of searches in Google um, and you do manage to get your website on page one in Google, um, then obviously you're going to get a lot of traffic to your website. So today what we're going to be looking at is you know, how actually do you find uh, keywords that have a lot of traffic in Google. Well the good news is Google tells us all this information. Google actually lets us know exactly how many people are searching um, for all the different words that people actually type into the Google search box here. Um, and they've got this thing called the Google Keyword Tool. Um, and it's completely free of charge. Um, all you need to type in is Keyword Tool into Google. Just type in key Keyword Tool. Um, and it comes up right at the top. This one here where it says adwords.google.com select forward slash keyword tool external. So you'll see it here in the top one or two listings. Uh, and then when you click on it, a page like this will come up. Um, and the great thing is, what you can do is you can just type in any word here or key phrase. When I refer to a keyword, um, it doesn't necessarily mean one word. It could be three words. So it could be, for instance, um, how to make money online. I would say that's a keyword. Um, not just money or online, how to make money or how to make money online or um, how to use Clickbank or you know how to um, I don't know how to sail a boat or how to improve my golf swing. These are all kind of key words if you like. Um, so if we just typed in something like golf and we clicked search, it's going to take a little while and we can straight away see that uh, you know we can see this these are the um, if we scroll down here these are the search results for the keyword golf now um, as you can see if we scroll down they then give us different keyword suggestions so obviously I've just typed in golf there and it's giving us the exact uh, monthly search results that's the amount of people that are searching for the keyword golf but then if we scroll down um, we can see all these different variations of golf so you know they say you know people are also typing these related golf keywords into Google um, so for instance golf equipment we can see here yeah there's got a huge amount of monthly searches um, these are the global monthly searches and these are the local so this is wherever you live so I live in the UK so you know 200,000 people are searching for golf equipment in Google every single month. So it's a huge amount of traffic these keywords are getting. So you can just scroll down and quite often you can find keywords that you you'd never really even thought about. So you know what is that cheap golf golf sets? Okay, six thousand people a, a month are searching for that. So this gives you very, very um quick information on um the amount of people that are searching for a particular phrase or keyword. Now, a lot of people um, actually use the Google Keyword Tool uh, incorrectly, and I just want to give you a very, very quick lesson of um, what these things here on the left-hand side mean, because there's three very, very important settings here which most people get wrong. And there's broad match, exact match, and phrase match. So I just want to run through each of those very, very quickly, just so you understand exactly what they mean. So first of all, we're going to talk about broad match. So broad match is, let's take the keyword learning to fly. I was just looking at that recently um, because I'm actually learning to fly at the moment. And I noticed that there were a couple of products um, on ClickBank, um, which are kind of like eBooks on learning to fly. So I was thinking about promoting them. So I've been doing a little bit of keyword research on learning to fly, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, so um, if we'd someone typed in learning to fly into Google, uh, 
as a broad keyword uh, phrase match. So what that means is a bro broad match means um, tell me how many people are typing in learning to fly into Google but these words can be in any order and any other words can be in between. So someone might actually type in I hate to fly and I am sick of learning. Okay, So that's not very relevant is it? So if someone actually typed that into Google yeah, um, they're not necessarily wanting to learn to fly are they? Um, but if we have broad match um, actually selected that would count um, as a search for that keyword so it's not very relevant so you don't want to be using broad match because the keywords can be in any order and any other words can be in between the keywords okay so we don't want to do that um, let's just look at the next one next one is the one I, I tend to use which is the one here on the left which is phrase match so phrase match means um, learning to fly has to be in the search query okay which someone types into Google but the words have to be in that order. There can be words after it or words before it, um, but the, the main phrase has to be in that order. So for instance, someone could type into Google, I'm interested in learning to fly, or learning to fly books, or learning to fly DVD, or learning to fly course. Um, so someone who types th any of these keywords into Google, they're obviously interested in you know the learning to fly so you can see here this is much more targeted than the broad match um, and then if we scroll down the last example is what they call exact match so that's learning to fly and that's it there's no keywords before it or no keywords after it so it's just if someone just types in learning to fly in exactly that order um, but with no keywords before or after sometimes you might want to know what the exact match is but generally um, I'm always looking at the phrase match um, because someone might be typing in you know something like uh, learning to fly book or DVD or course or something like that um, so that's you know, where most people get it wrong when most people use the keyword tool um, they this is actually by default set to broad and they leave it on that and they'll say oh look there's all these you know millions of people every month searching for the search term golf or let's take a search let's take you know something like um, let's have a look one of these something that's got a lower search okay so golf magazine 74,000 monthly searches a month um, and 9,900 searches in the UK every month okay so I'm going to cut and paste that because that's quite interesting and I'm going to just do another search for that so we've got that up here in the top now golf magazine but if we change it to uh, let's say phrase match we can now see that the search volume has come right down to 40,000 and 4,400 and that's because um, we've straight away eliminated if you like all the irrelevant uh, searches um, if we go to exact match it will be even less let's have a look 18,000 and 1,900 so that way you can even click a uh, phrase and um, exact and it will give you the two different versions there um, so you can very very quickly um, you know, using the keyword tool get an idea for um, exactly how many people are searching for these words and if we scroll down then we can get an idea of all like I said all the different other types um, of keywords out there um, so let me just um, put this back to um, let's go back to phrase match and remember we had our keyword learning to fly so that was one I was looking at uh, let's just have a look at that one so I'm going to look at that but I'm, remember I've got the phrase match um, um, in quotes again because I thought you know learning to fly that would be a good keyword to promote this Clickbank product I found um, which is an ebook all about how you you know how to fly a plane and how to pass your exams um, and then I scrolled down and I looked at, started looking at the um, different ideas that Google was suggesting to me and I suddenly realized that a lot of people who were typing in learning to fly were actually probably looking for a song by um, a, a pop group called Pink Floyd and they actually have a song called learning to fly and they, you know so there's a lot of people typing in learning to fly because they're interested in the song or they want to download the lyrics from the song so straight away I realized that actually um, this probably wasn't a very good keyword because you know probably 90% of the people who are actually typing in see, it says 90,000 
uh, phrase match. I've got that typed in their phrase. 90,000 people are, are, are searching for this every single month. I thought, wow, that, that's really high. But then if you scroll down and you start seeing, you know, learn to fly lyrics, um, you know, Pink Floyd, learning to fly lyrics, Pink Floyd, learn to fly. So you can very quickly see that most of the people who are typing in this keyword actually don't want to learn to fly. They're actually more interested in the song by Pink Floyd. So you can very quickly see um, that I can eliminate this as a keyword. And I, I probably want to um, change it to something like, um, let's just see. So we've got learn to fly and we just need to find a keyword that um, is, is, is very, very similar, but obviously is more targeted to people that actually want to fly a plane. So we can see here, learn to fly might be a better keyword because it's there's no song called learn to fly that I know of. Um, there's actually one here, learn to fly Kent. So Kent is an area just outside London in the UK. So that, that might be a good one to, to target. Um, you know, how to fly a plane, things like that. So if I just type in uh, learn to fly, let me just delete these quotes here. Um, again, I've got the phrase match selected. So Learn to Fly, we've got 1,600 people a month searching for that, or 390 in the UK. Um, but if we come down now, um, we can actually see here, Learn How to Fly actually has 18,100 searches. Um, Learn to Fly a Plane, 800. So you can see, very quickly, you see I've, I've actually eliminated a completely irrelevant keyword, which I wouldn't have realized was irrelevant. Uh, in the first place. And you can very, very uh, quickly see how you can find these kind of golden nuggets, if you like, the, these amazing um, keywords. So here we go, flying school. That gets almost 50,000 searches a month, etc, um, etc. Et so that's how you use the Google Keyword Tool. It's completely free, which is excellent. Um, in the following videos, I'm going to be showing you, um, I'm going to make three or four videos all about keyword research, because it doesn't just stop with how many people are searching for your keyword. You also need to know how hard it's actually going to be to rank your keyword um, on the front page of Google. Um, because obviously, yes, you could pick a keyword that has you know, a million searches a month, um, but there's no point in targeting a keyword like that if uh, the front page of Google is made up of things like Amazon and eBay and Facebook and really big sites like this, which you could never outrank. Um, so what we're actually going to be looking for are keywords that have very, very high search volume, um, or as high search volume as we can get, but are very, very easy to rank our website in Google. And I'll be covering that in the next videos.